High-level UK Ministry of Defence officials and executives from British defence firm BAE Systems are part of the visiting delegation that have arrived with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson to India and are likely to offer India to go develop the Tempest 6th generation fighter, on which United Kingdom and Sweden are currently working. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said that both India and UK should deepen the security and defence partnership and has also offered support for India's AMCA Untagious Mark II project. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory is working on missile launch tubes that will be used for the 1,500 km range TRDO's next generation submarine launched cruise missile that will have both anti ship variant and land attack variant. The next generation submarine launched cruise missile will be based on the nearby cruise missile powered by indigenous manic engine, and 10 units of the submarine launched cruise missile have already started fabrication for development trials. For the $20 billion tender for manufacturing 114 multi-role fighter jets under the MRFA program, the Indian Air Force has said that it prefers the Buy Global and Make in India route over the strategic partnership policy model. The Indian Air Force had also sought the views of the participating companies on the acquisition procedure, and most of the companies have shown a preference for the Buy Global Make in India route. The Air Force has also sought directions from the government on the MRFA project, and when it can move the project for clearance from the Defence Ministry for further action. A limited series production Tejas aircraft that will be used as the first flying test bed for the Tejas Mark 1A program is set to be rolled out by end of May, and its first flight has been planned by end of June. The first flying test bed will have a host of upgrades and will be in Mark 1A configuration that will be used to validate specific enhancements related to the Mark 1A program. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited has received a prestigious order from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for the manufacturing assembly testing and supply of compact heat exchanger sets for 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited is also working with the DRDO for the development of air cycle machine based liquid cooling system for aircraft pod application for the Tejas Mark II program. <laughs> Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has invited US firms to carry out joint research and co development of military hardware in India, so that the engagement should move beyond the traditional buyer seller relationship and boost the participation of US and Indian companies in each other's defense supply chains, and co-development and co-production of high-tech weapon systems. India and the US are also planning to undertake joint sea patrols and share intelligence in real time, as well as partner in new domains of space cyber and artificial intelligence. The Chinese Navy has released a video showing the launch of a new YJ-21 hypersonic missile from a Type 55 destroyer. The video footage shows a cold launch of a two-stage missile, and experts have said that it is an anti-ship ballistic missile with hypersonic glide vehicle. The Indian Army has ordered an investigation after it was found that sensitive information has been leaked on some WhatsApp groups. The WhatsApp groups had serving and retired officers and civilians as members. The government has proposed construction of 64 strategic roads with a total length of 3,508 kilometers and 103 bridges, in areas falling in the India-China border, Indo-Pakistan and Indo-Myanmar border, that will cost an estimated 31,000 crore rupees and this proposal would soon be placed before the Cabinet Committee on Security for approval. The Civil Aviation Ministry has released the names of five drone manufacturing companies and nine drone component manufacturing companies that have been selected as beneficiaries of the PLI scheme for manufacture of drones and drone components that will get a total incentive of 120 crore rupees spread over the three financial years. Thank <laughs> you.